Uh, we got a, we had a call from UIPD at approximately 3 a.m. that they had um, discovered a unattended bag um, near the northwest entrance to the Mocker Union, and um, given the situation, couldn't find an owner for it. We decided to call uh, the Waterloo Police Departments and Cedar Falls um, Public Safety, and first and foremost need to thank both of those agencies, Waterloo PD and Cedar Falls Public Safety, for their uh, professionalism and support in this whole, um, in, the, in this situation. They were fantastic. So uh, upon further review, they decided to call in the Waterloo uh, Bomb Squad. They got here at approximately uh, right around 6 a.m. and um, used a robotic camera device to go up and examine the bag. Um, they looked at it, uh, and, and I'm getting this secondhand. I apologize. I didn't get to talk to the police themselves, but uh, they got to the point where they felt they could examine it, and it ended up it was a, it was a duffel bag. Um, I'm being told full of some um, audiovisual equipment, probably not unlike what you guys have on your tripods right now. Electrical, uh, some wires, maybe some audio equipment, camera things like that. Um, you know, we have a lot of projects like that going on campus. I mean, it would be very easy to leave a bag behind, have a bag fall off of a cart perhaps in transit or something like that. I don't know if that's what happened, but it, it could have very easily have been something like that. So uh, it, was, it was determined not to be dangerous. Campus will reopen at 1030 and all is well. Um, we're just grateful that no faculty, staff, or students were in any kind of danger at any time. Uh, once again, the Waterloo Cedar Falls folks did a great job in handling the situation. Um, I think once something like this, you know, you have a bag that no one knows what it is. I mean, I think uh, error on the side of safety, especially, you know, there aren't, it's summertime, there aren't as many people up here, there aren't as many students up here as there are obviously during the school year. So, um, you know, worst case scenario, we we shut down campus for two and a half hours and, and made sure that it was safe and there was no harm to the public. So, I think they handled it very, very, very well, and probably do it the exact same way again if it happened. You don't think there was an overreaction in any way to the situation? Uh, no, I don't think so. I mean, um, I mean, I, I suppose you could view it very different different eyes in different ways, but once again, it hasn't happened in the two years that I've been up here, so. Um, no student has ever left a backpack in the library or in, in like a lunch hall or? Not to my knowledge, no. Well, no student left a backpack, uh, I mean, probably. Like as simple as that. But if, you know, when, like I said, when the UNIPD discovered it at 3 a.m. and hadn't seen it prior, um, I, I think that, and given the kind of the central location it was it was located on campus um, it was just better to be safe than sorry